Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a survival horror game in Unity and welcome to episode 39. This tutorial we're going to add in the second piece of our eye and we're also going to add in not really a jump scare but it's going to be a bit of an environmental change i.e. when we've done something, something on the wall appears. Don't forget click subscribe and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload on my channel on video game development. With that in mind, let's get to work. So another thing I actually want to work with is we have that trigger which allows our dude to kind of walk around and I want to just do another trigger to do the inverse of that and I guess it doesn't really matter too much what if you do it or not um, but I just want to maybe explain how you would do it. So here for example when we come into this section where we're going to pick up the second piece of the eye you would have another trigger which says basically Stalking equals false in the stalk AI. So I'm probably not going to do it because it's the same kind of thing, but it's the principle. I just want to explain to you that you can do that if you want to. It's just an extra little trigger to stop it walking around. So I'm going to build up this tiny little section here and I'm going to explain what we're going to do with this environmental change. Now, what I mean by environmental change, like I say, we do something and maybe something appears on the wall. So I want to basically, when we get back to that area where we just were, you know, where we have the first piece of the eye, we also have something there which has suddenly appeared on the wall, the words get out. So it's kind of not a jump scare, but it's something a little extra that has happened. So with the eye and picking it up, we can actually kind of cheat maybe a little bit. Um, we can use the same eye and use the same script technically, but if we're going down the route of picking up both pieces of eye, we probably need a separate script. But what I am going to do is I'm going to duplicate that left eye object. And let's call it, if I can press the right buttons on the keyboard, let's call it right eye object. And I want to move it over into that section from earlier that I've just put those walls around. Um, probably best if I rotate everything as well. So if we have 90 and 90 there, that should do. And let's move it so we can pick it up straight off the wall. Let's bring it this way. All the way here. Probably about there should do the trick. There we go. So like I say, you can use the same script if you want to, even though it's defined as the left eye pickup, but I'm actually going to hold control press D and duplicate because realistically, this script is also going to allow us to change the wall as it were. So this one is right eye pickup. So let's head into that right eye pickup script. And we need to change the class name up here. Right eye pickup. And obviously we need all those again. So we need the eye text to come up. We need uh, the half eye to appear. Except we're going to make this said uh, pick up right eye. And we also do need to make sure that eye text says picked up the right eye. I think it says left, doesn't it? you got the left eye piece. So we need it to say you got the right eye piece. So what we need to do is down here where we have I picked up, we need to say I text dot, in fact, you know what? Why don't we just copy this here? Simple as that. Why type it? We can just copy. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to place it here. And that's now going to say right eyepiece. So we've got that. That's fine. Now at the same time, we also need that wall. So we're going to add in two extra variables. So public game object, uh, we'll put, in fact, we'll put fake wall because the wall that's there at the moment is going to be the fake one. The real wall will have all the writing on it. So public game object, real wall semicolon and all that means is that down here we just need to put 
fake wall dot set active false semicolon and then real wall dot set active true and all this will make sense in just a moment when we piece everything together so let's save that script and we need to change this as well the global inventory don't we we need to add that in there as well so public static bool uh, right i semicolon oh by default we will make sure that is false and let's head to the right eye pickup and change that to right eye. Resave that script. Head back into Unity. And do we have an error? We do have an error. Um, oh, it's because we didn't save global inventory. That's why. So that's a good thing about the console. You can always double click. It'll take you to where there's an error. Trace it back. Sorted. So that should disappear. Perfect. Now let's attach that to the right eye. So right eye there. And let's attach everything that we need to here. Let's close up that material. So action key needs to go in there. Action text. Uh, extra cross. And although it says the left eye, we know it's the right eye. It's because we've copied it over. Realistically, you should change that if you want to. I'm not going to because <laughs> a bit lazy, but essentially it's the same kind of principle. Uh, half fade, then I image, yep, and then I text, yep. Now, before we do these last two, let's deal with the wall. Over here, I can already see the comments after that. So this right here is going to be what we need to change. So this wall is going to have the words written on it. And to do that, all we need to do is bring in a new texture for that wall. So I'm going to bring in this texture and I will have it on my website if you want to. All it is, is the exact same texture for the wall, but with the words get out written on it. So we need to make sure that cube 20 in this case, I'm going to rename as fake wall is indeed still there. We need to duplicate that and we'll have that as real wall. Next, what we need to do is put that on to there. So drag and drop onto there. And while we're at it, we'll actually turn off the actual fake wall so we can see. So we just need to turn that around a little. So we're on the real wall. Let's rotate uh, minus 90. That should still line up perfect. Now all we need to do is just make sure that we get the normal map the same. So it kind of blends in a bit better than what it does right now. So if we take that um, wallpaper with a get out on, duplicate, and let's set that as normal map, apply. And we need to replicate what we have in wallpaper 001. So we need to make sure that these settings are gonna be the same for this one. So let's attach the get out, in fact, I think we need that gray scale, to be honest, there we go. So let's attach that get out normal map to the get out. There we go, we can see that's changed. We need to set it to 0.1, so as it matches the same as this, see, 0.1. And then 241 and 338. So 241 and 338. And it should blend in absolutely fine there. So it's seamless. It still says get out and it is seamless. So let's turn that off. So real wall off, fake wall back on. So hopefully now you can see what's going to happen with this sequence of events. Once we pick up that second eye, that wall is going to change from what it is now to the one we've just created. So let's add those variables into the right eye object. So real wall goes over there and fake wall which is the one that disappears goes into there and finally let's remove that leftover remnant of the left eye pickup so now we only have the right eye on there so save and i'm going to play this whole section and just make sure that everything works as intended so wall looks fine that's all good let's pick up the left eye we got the left eye piece Let's go through here 
and let's hope we don't come across our new friend. Where is he? There he is. So, let's go and pick up that right eyepiece. That is on the wall. Let's take that. Got the right eyepiece. Perfect. Now, oh, hello. Here he is. Let's head back through here and we should see the writing on the wall. Perfect. So, all of this sequence now is coming together and I'm quite happy with how this is looking. So, the next thing that we're going to do in the next tutorial is we are going to have a place where we can put both of these eyes in and then that wall where it says get out will open to the next area. So, until that next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.